everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and i still remain your most wealthy shoe making made easy tutor odurole mojibola and today i'm going to be showing us how to create this beautiful men's sandal with a covered toe pad you can see that the toe is covered i'm going to be showing us the simple process with which you can create this and also how you can use an already made pattern template to actually create this if you're watching my channel for the first time i want to plead with you to please subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video i need you to like it don't just watch i need you to like i need you to share i need you to comment and tell me what and what you will love me to actually you know teach you or a particular comment you have as regards this particular men's sander i'm sure you're so excited to see how this will work out sit back and i'm gonna be right back so like i said you can use your pattern just place on your leather and cut that's what make pattern template very easy line it stitch it and all you need to do is to trim each and every one of them out as soon as you trim them out you are good to go to begin to actually put all of them together that's one major advantage of an already made pattern template which i've made available for this particular cover to men sander so you can go ahead and make use of that so now that all of our uppers are ready what we are going to be doing next is we are going to go ahead and um, make use of the insole we created you and actually you can actually create your insole in different ways so for me today i'm just going to be using my leather on top of my eva foam which is also called maku here in nigeria i'm using about three millimeter you know eva foam or maku for those of us who are in nigeria now i'm just going to go ahead and pick up my template and um, use it to position each of the openings i'm going to be creating that is the amazing thing about having a pattern template which is the reason i'm trying to show us this i don't want you to forget that i'm still going to properly show us how to create this pattern but for the sake of those who would love to make use of the template probably order for the template of the size they want that is why i want to quickly show you how easy it can be i've taught us that you need to learn to save time and then be able to produce more the higher the quantity you can produce in a particular period of time the better for your cost of actually production so i'm just going to position i'm just going to go ahead you can use your pen you can use your marker whatever you want to use just for all of this so i'm using my punch plier to just punch those places it's not compulsory if you don't have a punch plier you can definitely use all of this type to actually punch those places and then use your utility knife to open them up you just use your utility knife now i find that most times we make mistake of joining the wrong line if you join the wrong one it definitely means you have to create another insole to avoid that i try to use my pen or my marker just to just to join together those side i'm going to be joining so that's i use as a guide always to avoid mistakes so with this now you can properly see okay i'm joining this i'm joining this i'm joining this it will serve as a guide so now i'm beginning to cut now i have taught us several that when you are cutting your insole make sure that you follow the curve don't go straight like i have here I'm going to ensure it is curved i will not try to get to this other edge because i don't want my utility knife to cut that side off so what i do is start from one end stop at the center and then finish on the other side now see what i mean by that it is curved down this way So turn it, then do the finishing here. Because if you mistakenly pull it down this way, it can cut through. 
don't make mistake of not punching when you punch it seal the edges and protect it from cutting or tearing off as you insert your upper so make sure you always punch the edges that's that's very important so let's come to these So the next thing is to pick the center pattern, place it on the upper you created, and then try to punch all of the sides. Of course, I'm using a punch plier. You can use actually a punch. It doesn't have to be this kind of a punch plier, but don't use an awl. Don't use an awl if you want the job to be neat. So I'm going to be using my, my pen to just note where i'm going to be cutting so i'm using my seam ripper to cut through you can use your utility knife to cut as well so i'm going to do that for all of the openings don't forget the center is for all of them now let's move to the front which makes it a cover to men sander all of the patterns as the position where you are going to be punching so I'm placing my rivet to actually hold it together. You can decide to stitch. It's not compulsory that it has to be rivet. You can stitch it if you don't want to use a rivet. So after that, I'm using my plier tool to press down. I'll be inserting all of my strap. I inserted from up and not from down because I want it to be able to lay very well on that my center pattern. So... We're going to put all of that, then we'll quickly go to the back pattern. I have other positions. Fix your buckle, fix your strap. You can stitch, like I said. You can also use a rivet. So just feel free to use any of them that seems suitable. I've taught us how to create um, a buckle strap as well as how to position it. So just follow all of this that you are seeing here like i told us i'm going to be showing us how to how to create all of this pattern so just be patient i'm going to take you through that as well the process is actually a simple one now i need you to know that i have paid courses for my for beginners i have paid courses for advanced which includes um majorly how to create eels i have the mool class it's popularly called Afshu. I have a class where I simplify shoe making basically. So feel free to check the description under this video to see details about each and every of the courses. So I'm just going to revert down my strap as well. That tends to be easy. Now stitching also is easy as long as you know how to stitch or you give it out to somebody to do for you and then pay them. So we're going to go ahead and then... Um, insert it into the remaining pattern then we are going to last immediately you know we have already created the in so we have cut it out so we are just going to go ahead and last it now i need you to click the like button as you watch this video because the truth is that every of my videos are always packed with something new to learn so i need you to like this video so that others too can see it and be able to learn from it you can see it's already looking like a covered two main sander it's already looking like it so let's move to positioning them also just insert i'm using my punch now this is actually another kind of punch you're going to be using armor for to punch this so it's quite different from the punch plier i do use so i just use it to insert every of the upper into the right position then place the last you insert your last apply your gum and then last your footwear and that's all for the lasting process now you can see what it finally looks like now one thing that having pattern template does is that it makes your work very fast i'm sure you don't want to know how long it took me to go through the process of fixing it of you know positioning it and everything and uh, if you want to save time well 
I believe that going for the pattern template is actually a quick one. Don't forget, the, 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 the more time you have for production, the lower your cost of production because your time is also part of what you use to calculate your cost of production. Now, let me briefly show those of us who would love to cut it by ourselves, how to cut the pattern. Now, starting from what we have right at this toe part, one basic thing you need to understand is the shape is more like a T shape. So it means you basically need to draw a T so you can decide what width you want to use. But I'm going to be using the width of this my of this my ruler well. You can extend it if you want to. So this is what I have. So I'm creating a T like I said. But this time around, I'm going to make sure that my length, I'm going to be positioning, I'm going to be positioning my T where it will actually intercept with themselves. I'm going to position it where we have them. Um, not at the center of this O. Of course, I'm not going to use the whole of this because don't forget that it's going to be here. This place has to be longer than this particular size. So take cognizance of that by, you know, making sure that one side is longer than the other. So that's basically what I want you to know. Let one side be bigger, longer than the other. So if you look at this now, this is longer than this side. So let's say I'm putting this here. And then um, I want to use like, um, let's say I want to use two inch wide. Let's say two inch wide. So two inch is the same thing as five centimeters. So if you want to work in centimeter, feel free to do that. Now, if you look at the way this look like, we already have a T. I have created a t-shape like what we have here all you need to do is you can get a round object you can get a round object to create a curve here now this is what i mean place a round object this is actually round place it here make sure it's touching this line and it's also touching this particular line so you can bring it in right away i'm sure you can see what it looks like so from this you can try to let it you know go and touch this particular one so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to trim this out for us to see how to go about this other part of it So it means that folding it this way, we make the two side looks actually the same way. As you can see, the first step to creating this design is what we have just concluded right now. So you can see what we have. So it's important that when you want to position it, I've taught us to always make sure that we position, we use our fingers for positioning. So make sure that when you want to position it on your insole, this line, this particular side here is here. And then on this other side, this particular side is actually around here when you want to position it on the insole. I'm just trying to let us know that you you can actually create yourself but if you want to save time you can actually make an order for the template if you want want it as you know a package that you want me to to mail to you i can actually mail it to you and then if you want it to be sent as a pdf file for you to print i can also do that for you so you can just let me know in the comment section you can see what we have already here so if you think you don't want it to be as much as this you can still decide to throw it in more. You see what I just did? If you think it's, you don't like it that way, you can still adjust it and let it come down a little bit more. It's all your choice anyway. So from what I have here, it's not compulsory that this should be as wide as this. If you don't want yours to be as wide as um, 2 inches, which is 5 centimeters, you can decide to do 4 centimeters. You can decide to actually do... 
um maybe 1.5 of an inch so just for that now after positioning this here the next thing we need is actually this center this center now how do i know what length to use for the center i think it's expedient for you to actually place either your measuring tape or whatever you have like i'm going to be using this plain sheet i'm going to be placing it this way knowing fully well that a part of it has to be here a part of it has to be here so it depends on how much of it you want to be on that side if it's just about one centimeter 1.5 centimeter of it that you want to as in you want to place on this one you can stitch it and you can use the rivet to hold it down like i did mine so considering this extension make sure that is actually up here let it end on your last hairs because that's the way the style look like it's more like a covered shoe and it really really around their ankle so when it gets here you can just add about you know 0 0.5 centimeter or one centimeter extra to it so for me i'm just going to cut this way then measure what length i have here so this is about five of an inch five inches it's about 5 inch but 4.75 exactly 4.75 so i can decide to actually cut 5 inch for that center pattern by the time i'm coughing the edges it will still go back to what i want this is what i mean you can see how curved this edge is you can see how this look like so i'm just going to go ahead and do that just cut a rectangular shape like i just did now and create a curve around it so you can see this is what we have and i'm going to be placing this like this don't forget it's at the center this is like this so this is staying this way this is coming here this is going to stay on top of it like this and we have this like this you can see that there's a little extra here please i would suggest you allow that extra to be there so that one it depends on the size you are working with actually but for the back pattern so that it you, of course your strap for the back pattern is going to be passing through this so you still need a little bit extra space on this side so that it will not be close to the edge when you are punching it so it's quite okay like this so i believe you should understand by now how to actually create your back pattern the remaining are just straps that you need to arrange at the center and i believe with this you should be able to create this particular man sander now i want to believe from what i've taught us today we should be able to actually do this if you have enjoyed today's tutorial i need you to subscribe to this channel if you're watching for the first time and for those of us who have been my previous subscriber please ensure you like if you are, even if you're just watching me for the first time ensure that you like this video it helps more people to get to see what you are learning on my channel thank you once again and i still remain your shoe making made easy to talk. happy easter to every of my christian subscribers thank you so much and i'm gonna see you next time bye